Sergeant Trimmers, I might have that cabin to myself again. Stay on the path. Stay off the bluffs. And if there's a tremor, for heaven's sake, stay out in the open. I bet this was a sacred place when the Indians lived here. I shouldn't be here. Sure, we're due for a major event. A major what? A full-scale quake. And that means I want you all out of here. Everyone! No, including Marty. It looks really old. Well, this is metal. Maybe he was a Viking. And this was a sword. And this was his helmet. <gasps> very good with snakes. You said Marty would be back by now, and she isn't. Okay. When you're finished, get your things packed up and loaded back in the car. And if she hasn't shown up by then, Lewis and I will go and look for her. The sink could be over a thousand years old. You have to be careful, because the bones could just turn to dust. Oh, let me have that. I can use an arrowhead for digging. What's the matter? I know, we should go. But there may be treasure. I just can't leave yet. OK, OK, I'll be there in five minutes. Maybe 10. Scare you, kid. Now, what do you got? Who are you? My dad said there's no one around here. Why should he know? Well, you shouldn't be in these woods. They're government property. And the area's been closed because of the tremors. I never could stand people telling me what to do. Now, show me what you've got. Nothing special, just Indian stuff. Well, if there is anything valuable around here, it belongs to the government. Indians didn't have swords. Dad, 
Look. That's Marty's dog, Spirit. Hey, wait. What's this? This is Marty's arrowhead pouch. Where did you find this? <coughs> Lewis, you come with me. The rest of you get the car loaded. We'll be right back. Go, boy. We'll follow you. Marty? What is it, boy? What's he doing? What's he found? Looks like someone's covered something up. I didn't know there were caves in this area. Dad, look at this skeleton. I wish I had a flashlight. We can look at that later, after we find Marty. How far back does this thing go? It's enormous. It's a Marty kind of place, all right. What are you doing? She's not here now. Yes. I tried cigarettes when I was her age, too. Well, that's two lectures she's going to get tonight. Okay. So she found the skeleton, and then what did she do? She probably went back to the beach to tell Mom. Wouldn't you? Yeah. by now. Marty? Oh, what a mess. Lights are out. 
Uh, I checked the fuse box. It's behind the curtain over there in the closet. Stay with the girls. Denise? Are you all right? Oh, my God. Where, where, where's Marty? Huh? Look at that. Oh. Dr. Hansen in Asheville. Tell him that we'll be there in about an hour. Come I'm on. fine. I'm fine. It's Marty. Uh, get, get the stuff in the Jeep. be a poacher. Marty! He must have Marty! I know the area. I'll find him and Marty, but I want you out of danger first. As soon as you get your mother to the doctor, go over and find Stuart at the survey office and bring him back with you as fast as you can and anybody else he can lay his hands on. We've only got about six hours of daylight left. Get moving. It's okay, Denise. Everything's going to be all right. Go, Lewis.
Get out of here. I gotta tell Dad what happened in the cave. If I had listened to you and not stayed there, I would have never gotten into this mess. And that creep wouldn't have found my treasure. Mom and Dad must be having kittens by now. I'm sorry. That's just what I need. You're terrific. Before I find you, please stay here. We'll explain all when I see you. Love, Dad. Jerk poacher. She's not here, Papa. Now don't move. What was that? Oh, no. Dad! Daddy? Daddy? I've been bit, kid. I know where this has come from. The cave. <laughs> 